One on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. I'm just down here taking a picture of the new King Ranch, making a video of that. You're going to see that coming up in a day or two. And this video here is about painting the wheels and stuff on an older F series. Um, it ain't the nicest F series around, but it's an old body style split window 91 XLT Lariat. It's a nice thing. So, with that in mind, that's what it's about. Hope you enjoy. And if you're interested in this truck, tell you what, make you a deal on this thing. It is a nice forward pick em up truck. Other than that, there's not a whole lot that can be said for this video, except I am painting wheels, and it's pretty long and cumbersome. Skip around, do whatever you want. See the first product, see the last product. Tell me how it looks in the comments below. I think it really evened the truck out really nice. Here we go. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. All kinds of cars and trucks and stuff, and military blazer, buddy. It's coming up. Today, it's the F-150. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to walk around to the good side just to where you think that, hey, wow, it's awesome. It is. It's an XLT Lariat. It's the best of the best. And look at Peter. Can you see Peter? There we go. Standing right there at the door just sitting there crying. Okay, that's the truck. Now, this side's all banged up. And you've seen this if you've seen my channel much and all that. But here's how the wheels look before taking off. Look at how rusty crappy and whatever and then I want to show you after using this wire wheel and Rich had tried to use this one I had but these it just two, but bounces around and isn't all that cool this one says. didn't have a anvil so I just stuck a bolt through it <laughs> it's MacGyver you got a bolt and a pack of chewing gum that's how they look after you brush them down and I'll tell you what not that bad the hammered look paint that I've showed you look up wheel detail or wheel repair or painting wheels on my channel and you'll see other ones I've done while we're doing it that basically the hammered paint man it looks good on wheels but the back's white and you know I don't care if I got big dents in my truck if you're running around with a white wheel and a chrome rusty wheel the whole look just doesn't complete it just makes the truck look dodgy so with that in mind we're gonna Get these things looking good. I don't know what color yet. A gray was the only thing I had, but I might have brought some better stuff back from San Diego. Um, yeah, we'll see. And doing this kind of stuff, <laughs> brushing down the hub too, because on a four wheel drive like this, especially, that hub's gonna look a lot better sprayed the same color. Hang on, get real tight. Hang on, yeah. This one here in the back, it ain't sticking out. But you still might want to do something to that because that's just not going to look its best. I'll clip more in here in a while. Got to get the video for the day up and get my quarterly statements in due today. Actually, delinquent in due today on the delinquent. But here we go. So the two are off the front and they've been power washed down and washed with soap and water to get degreased and everything. They had a degreaser put on them. And this is not going to be a big high fluting job. This is a quick half hour wheel type. Just sand them down and do it. And we'll see how they turn out. I hope I have a hammered paint because that'll really make a difference. Okay, I'm going to start on the hubs here. And I've got a Rust Oleum Painter's Touch White Primer. And you know, it really don't matter what color primer you get, but the priming it does really, really help give you a better quality of a job. We're taking time to make the lug nuts white and everything for the heck of it. Light coats is your best, biggest tip forever is light coats. Put it on too much and you're just gonna get a bunch of runs and stuff and cost yourself more work if you care. It's just a quick job. We're not looking to make it perfect, but and I always hate doing wheels. I've done them every which way. Rich had some cardboard out. I had some tape out and we just, you know, we've used paper, paper towels, you name it. I honestly don't know what way I'm going to do these yet. I just know that I got to get them done. So we shall see. We shall see. We'll get it all done here. I'll be back. Okay. So that's primer. I got a really not that great paint here. Probably that's what I've got. And same thing when you're moving to the paint. Just such light coats, man. 
And we get a couple of them, but just light, lightly, lightly. So, I'm just totally not gonna have enough, I doubt I have enough paint. We'll see what happens here, but the hubs are done at least. They look good. Now for the wheels. See that? His new one, one, he got the bigger one, huh? Uh, the XR, he got the, the XR drill, but look at that. It comes with two five amp yeah, batteries. That's awesome, but it costs. Ones. I got one coat on this. Plus the primer. Good. All right, like I said, I've never met a way of doing this that was foolproof. This is what I've chosen is the duct tape the paper towel. And the problem with this is, and doing them on the wheel, is you're going to leave the lip a little compromised on your paint job. But it will look pretty good, and you can get pretty good results with it. With that in mind, I wish I would have had it on the grass or something, but I guess I'm painting my asphalt, right? That's what we're doing. Oh! Well, I got it started on here to where I can one-hand it, but always take the time. Any job worth doing, worth making look good, take the time to put a little bit of something over your valve stem. I don't even want the tip to get it any, so I'm making sure. So that's that. I'm going to start primer in a little. And it's not going to stick to the chrome the same way it will to the white. Now, I've got an idea on this to make some of the corrosion look better. Oops. And that idea I need to actually implement now and not after. They make a paint called a hammered paint. The Rustoleum Hammer. So look at this in valleys. Oh, that one's not gonna work. Well, that one ain't got none in it. You know what? That one ain't gonna work. Nope. The only one, man. You see the corrosionary issues there. That covers it up a bit, makes it look better. I'm gonna try switching a tip. If you know paint, you know this usually never works. Yeah. In a second. Man, that's gonna be enough. I like it. Okay, so what I'm doing here is putting a little bit of the hammered. We'll see. Like right here. I hope we can see in the video. And it adds kind of a texture. Now I don't want it to be that color. Actually I wouldn't mind it. I don't have enough of it. So, directly after that, I'm covering it with a white primer. And then we'll paint over it with our white. It should make for a really, really good job. But that will make it look, by making it textured, you'll basically make it look a little smoother. If that makes any sense at all, right? I expect to have a couple pieces that I'm not happy with here. But it's just the nature of the beast. That is going to be considered primed for all intents and purposes. And I'm going to let it dry up a bit and then I'll hit it with some 
actual paint. After it gets tacky. That's tacky. Okay, so that's that. I've got some white paint here. What brand? I don't know. But it's gonna be the brand that we use if it'll spray true enough. It is definitely... I don't have a lot of paint here, is what I'm saying. And the paint I have is pretty low in the can, so to speak. And I am not able to spray this like I want simply because I can't tip the paint cans like I want. But working on wheels, usually, as long as you stay with very thin coats, and I don't like that color white, I think it's a creamy white. But that's okay because we're gonna put something over it. And I'll use the same one on that one. It's like a Wimbledon white. And I don't think I have two of these. I'm gonna have to open up my good paint. Jeez, man. I think you're gonna be able to tell almost right away that this is a different color white. Oh yeah. And it's a lot glossier, which is cool. So, Like I say, by the time we're done, this ain't going to be the most professional job in the world, but it's going to look good. I'm liking it. I'm McDonald's in it. I'm loving it. Looks good for my house, right? I'm going to call that done, buddy. We'll see how it looks in a minute, and I'll tape that one up and do it when I come back out. I don't know if you can see all the cotton flying around here. It's everywhere. Of course, right when I'm spraying my wheels, right? Um, so the paint I used on this was a really good paint. I had somehow misplaced it. Okay, so I got the hammered finish and I'm gonna do this one right by starting with that. And just getting a little bit on it. It's a little bit heavy in the areas that are corroded. It really does not hide, but fill up a lot of area. And with these two, I think it's going to be the perfect job. I really do. So, got that. It covers really fast, too. It really does. I, I got a little bit of paint on the valve stem because I was in a hurry. The wind is killing me out here. And it's blowing these cottonwood things around. It's starting to become a problem blowing my paper. And I recycled the tape and most of the paper off the other one. But. So, yeah, buddy. Good stuff, looking good, and all that. The back ones aren't gonna take as much because we're just going white over white. This is white over chrome and. This is like brand new. <laughs> so white primer and very thin coats. And then we're going with the the white we're not using and then we'll go with the white that is our top coat and like I'm saying I'm hurrying up now because the wind is just coming up and it's boondogging the whole deal and you don't want to get a heavy coat or it's just gonna start running yeah, it's killing me the wind dude well it's a battlefield of spray paint cans and duct tape and paper towels but that's too done out of the deal and taking them off it's so much it seems like more work but 
you take them off, you don't paint the whole caliper and stuff the same color. And then when I got done, I was like, damn, maybe I should paint the caliper white. And then I was like, eh, I don't have enough paint. So, whatever. Well, next time, at the very least, I'll put them in the same spot to where I don't have all kinds of spots over my driveway. But another thing that I thought that I'd do just for the heck of it is, not that, black out the uh, calipers real quick, make it look a little better. And this part here, just to where it looks a little nicer for the wear. Um, I don't mind having the white on a brake caliper, but it's easy to spray a little black on it. And yeah, I just wanted to black out the calipers to where you get a nice clean look behind the wheel. And this paint shouldn't take much stress or anything, so it should last a while. Look good and flat black is really easy to spray. So, with that in mind, I had just enough to do this. What a deal. What a deal. So, no matter if you're black or white, it's on it. This here is definitely looking better. Man, tip. Show you. I'm gonna go ahead and strip this off. Nice. Nice. So that's that, and we got our truck jacked up. And actually, looking good. Looking good. Ah, Saturday in Stevensville, Montana, at the post office, and it's a cute little town. I don't really actually, really actually get to town much, but they got everything I need. I think there's three or four banks and they got a nice post office. There's a huge grocery store. There's a farm, like a co-op store. All kinds of stuff. But, yeah. I'm just making a video. Katrina's in here somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. Everywhere is, a, everywhere is a whole new process now to get used to. Oh, you bring a bottle and refill it. Sure. <laughs> Hi. Bread. I know. When I see that though, I just think, hey, we should make bread when we get home. I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's up going on, dude? The baby. Hi. Look at that. <laughs> Hi. What are they? What do you want? Good, how you doing? Cherry tomato. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Alright. Oh no. Black cherry. Hey. Get him. Ask him about him. Ask him about him. Are these two dollars all of them? Yeah, everything's two bucks except for the giant six pack corn, which is three. But we have two dollar corn as well. 
Well, Rich is at his place doing work today, and I really would like to get this finished. So, I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and get this bad boy rocking. Do I like that? I think I like this better. Dad got a new DeWalt 20 volt, one of these torque drive things. I got all the bits for it. I guess I'll get to be the first one to get to use this bad boy. Rich has one. And they're kind of, they're kind of invaluable. That's a little loose. No, it's not. I like it. Okay. I'll tell you what. They have a smaller one. The smaller one's fine, but... What the fuck? Is my battery really dead? Now... It's on a charger, man. Huh. That's something else. Like I always say, anytime you do one job, you end up getting two or three. It's a faulty battery. Not just a dead battery. I'm pretty sure it's a faulty one. But I never used the big one. I think I'm tightening that. I don't know why I let off that thing. These things are so quick. I don't know if I'll ever use a star wrench again. I really don't. Okay. You know, before I get too far, I'm gonna block the front. Make sure the emergency brake's on. I think we had it on last time. These are gonna look good. I guess we could wonder how long it takes to unloosen all these things. Well, let's go, let's go. Not long. Even when you mess up a couple clicks like I did, it don't take long. So now some scrubbing and degreasing, to say the least. Yeah. You know, Rich does really, really good around here. You know, like picking up cords rolling them up but to be honest I'd rather they be left out I can never find them and I'm looking and not only that it's a work area 
we don't have to do the same thing. So this ain't. Oh, I bet this one's no good. All these green ones gave out on me. Huh? We'll give it a shot. So, I decided to duct tape them. What you doing, bud? You working? Woo on! Yeah, I know. I know, right? <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Woo! What are you doing, Vlad? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> you like to bite my hand! What are you doing, Beaglejuice? You're the most popular? You see the puppy and her playing out there? In the grass? Yeah. Hey, you can't do this. Uh, breeder, I mean breeder and puppy. No. Beagle juice and puppy. They play out there in the pen. <laughs> the puppy. <laughs> He's still dancing. <laughs> Look at What are you doing? Woo <laughs> You want the tape, don't you? <sighs> okay, so I'm laying duct tape as deep in that groove as I can get to where I can reuse it even on the next wheel, hopefully. And then I'm gonna put paper towels around the perimeter. And I did it one way yesterday. I don't know why I'm trying to conserve paper towels, but this time I'm going to do a little different. And like I say, there is literally who knows how many ways to do this. I mean, it's just no way is perfect. It never, ever works right. But I'm honestly believing that if I use a longer side hanging out, and it will. Whoa, you dropped it. It's just not as long. Okay, I've pretty much got it taped off like I'm going to tape it off. And I got the products that I'm going to use. I think I'm ready to do my deal. Woo Han! What are you doing, bud? Couldn't do it without you. Oh, I got to tape off my valve stems. Man, I'll tell you what, taping off valve stems on a job like this, especially with a white wheel, is just, it's the way to go. It really, really, really is. I hear Breeder. Breeder! Freaking dog. Woo! On! Bless you! Now, 
You can't be around this the same, so. Let's see how we're gonna do this. It's not blowing that way. We'll back you up a little bit, boy. We will back you up a little bit. Here we go, will that work? I think that'll work for you. I hope you can see the texture because it adds to it. I like get a ring of it right around the inside. Haha, <laughs> I'm out of paint. My thing's clogged. Makes it look better though. For the most trouble free way of doing this, it honestly to me is the duct tape and paper towels. Now, like I say, nothing is ever going to be perfect on trying to do these. But that, I think I like the best. And I've even had the little. You know the things that you you get and you put the cover over? I've had that stuff too. I didn't like that. They all fall apart. Can't keep them straight, etc. Okay, this one. Do I have any more hammered? I think I do. Not a lot. This just covers fast. It's one of my favorite paints to use. Actually, I gotta put paper towels down. But that's okay because I want to finish this up anyways. No. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you working? Honestly, he does well out here for very long periods of time. He loves the outdoors. So that's cool. Yeah, it's cool, huh, Vlad? You see the speckles? Just speckles it up. This stuff covers so fast, and I know I just said that. But I wish I had three cans of this. And 
That's how I ended up doing the whole deal. But it wasn't meant to be. I also find that if you're gonna be multiple, I do this a lot. So sometimes I'll have enough of this or enough of that. I bond them right to each other right away. To where hopefully the color bleeds into the other and lightens it up before it dries. I don't know if that's an effective thing. It's just the way I've always done it. I always use all my paint. What's up, babe? Nice Your what? My gardening tool. I had an extra one I was gonna give you. So what I'm gonna do here, Just put this on real quick. Try not to get a lot of overspray. And make sure and get that underneath. And I think that. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do. So that'll make it look a lot nicer. Now this shouldn't show right here. So what I think I'm gonna do is just paint that white right over the top of it. Put a little primer on it and come back to it. Well, this stuff dries fast, though. Pretty much done. Okay. Should be doing a before and after picture, huh? You know, you don't see a lot of this, but I don't want to see any of it poking through.
going dead there and it kind of got more overspray than I wanted, but oh well. God, it's been a nice day. Just a beautiful day. Hey, Bruce. What you doing? What are you doing, girl? Good dog. Good dog. Oh, okay. Well, the truck project is moving on down a lot. Moving on down a lot. I wanted to do something else too. It's pretty stupid, but I want to do it. It ain't gonna dry very well before I put it on, but at least it'll be a little bit white. And then, you know, of course, the part's gonna knock off when you torque them on. But, okay. Put this on level two, buddy. Thanks, strong. Gotta love it. Quick, easy. <laughs> Battery powered. Pretty cool. Fuck, how did that change that color? It's got a tint on it. Weird. 
Huh. Well, oh man, I didn't mean to get that much on the back caliper or drum. Oh well, looks good. Well, I must say, that looks a hell of a lot better. I gotta get everything all out from under it still, but yeah, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to jack it up to get the jack stand out. Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. It's a pretty long, cumbersome video, like I said at the beginning here. But, that's what it is. It was the blog. Tomorrow or the next day, it's the King Ranch. With that in mind, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com.